For more news, download the CBS News app on your cell phone or connected TV. I'm Matt Piper, CBS News, New York. It's Tuesday, August 9th, 2022. This is the CBS Morning News. Search warrant. FBI officials check out Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate, what they were looking for, and the former president's heated response. Touring the damage, President Biden gets an up-close look at flood-ravaged communities in eastern Kentucky, his promise as more storms threaten the region. Remembering Olivia Newton-John, a look back on her career and the emotional tribute from John Travolta. Well, good morning and good to be with you. I'm Anne Marie Green. We begin this morning with the unprecedented search of a former U.S. president's home. Yesterday, the FBI executed a search warrant of former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate. Sources tell CBS News it was in connection to the Justice Department's investigation into whether he took classified records to his Florida residence when he left the White House. Trump, who was not there at the time, said agents opened up a safe at his home in what he called an unannounced raid. Dan Lieberman is outside of Trump Tower in New York with more on this developing story. Dan, good morning. Good morning, Anne-Marie. Yes, it's shocking developments here for the former president, who was actually here at Trump Tower behind me in New York City yesterday as FBI agents searched his Florida home. Sources tell CBS News the FBI's Mar-a-Lago search is connected to a Justice Department investigation into how former President Trump handled White House records. The probe is looking into claims by the National Archives that it found 15 boxes of records at Trump's Florida estate earlier this year. Some of the material is said to have been classified. Trump issued a statement saying Mar-a-Lago was, quote, under siege, raided, and occupied by a large group of FBI agents, and it said, after working and cooperating with the relevant government agencies, this unannounced raid on my home was not necessary or appropriate. In the statement, Trump also said agents broke into his safe. What they need is probable cause that there was a federal crime that was committed and probable cause that the evidence of that crime is where they say it was, in this case, at Mar-a-Lago. The former president was in New York at the time of Monday's FBI search. This video shows him leaving Trump Tower. This morning, the scene here outside the luxury Fifth Avenue building is relatively quiet. Last night, Trump's son Eric spoke out about the search. This came from one place and one building, and, and that is the White House. 